No. I'd probably pick tea over coffee any day. I don't really want to cook for myself. Look at how easy this is. Pineapple, that's great. It's much more complex and exciting than something like a pancake. It's up for debate though. What's the ones that are like Ridge, like Shake Shack's fries? What are those called? I like those. Is that crinkle cut? I think so. It is, right? Yeah. <laughs> I think I have to say my favorite French fries is crinkle cut because they have that extra surface area for more crispiness, but they can also be kind of big enough that you have that fluffy mashed potato like inside. Between Lake House and Beach House, I'd probably have to pick Beach House just because I love the ocean, I love the waves, and I love the salt. Oh, nice. Okay. Here's a fake pineapple. pineapple. That's great. Please don't put pineapple on pizza. Pineapples never belong on pizza. No. I think my favorite pizza topping has to be just ricotta cheese splatted all over the pizza. It's delicious. Weirdly, I like sparkling versus still water at different times in the day. So at night, I drink lots of sparkling water and throughout the day, I just drink still. I'm definitely a waffles guy because waffles have that extra surface area with all the little dimples around it. So you've got more golden brown crispiness on it and then also you still have that fluffy inside. I just think it's much more complex and exciting than something like a pancake. Vacation or French trip, I feel like I gotta go more towards French trip just because there's gonna be much more kind of crazy, interesting stuff that happens, but there's a time and a place for both for sure. The proper way, in my opinion, to cut a sandwich definitely has to be like this. Because when you actually go to eat it, it's just a lot easier to kind of go in from the edges as opposed to awkwardly going in from the middle and getting the, the sides of your face all dirty. I think that's the fair answer. It's up for debate though, it always is. To be totally honest, I don't understand anybody that puts their toilet paper on the roll with it coming under. It just, it starts just falling by itself and it just, look how easy this is. I'd probably pick tea over coffee any day. I absolutely love the smell of coffee, so if it was about the smell of coffee or tea, it'd be coffee all the way, but there's a hot cinnamon spice tea that for whatever reason I'm obsessed with. Do you like that one? Yeah, it's so good. <laughs> it's so good. It's the oh, best, right? That. Sweet or savory, I'm gonna pick savory every time. And I'm also just not good at baking, so that helps with that answer. I just never order desserts when I go to a restaurant, and for some reason, my favorite snacks have always just been things like pretzels and whatever super salty. The must-have snack in the pantry for me probably has to be pretzels and hummus. It's just, it's just such an easy go-to, and I can finish an entire thing of hummus in one sitting. I specifically love these extra dark pretzels. I don't know the name of the brand, but they're really, really good, and they've been cooked a little bit more. My must-have kitchen tool is definitely my butane kitchen torch. It's probably the most fun thing you can pull out in the kitchen, and there's something cool about just having that big flame of fire to just do whatever you want with. I, I do things like torching avocados, making creme brulees. I even torch the sugar on top of my grapefruit when I eat that to make it more interesting. Because my entire job is pretty much eating in and cooking all day inside my own kitchen, I'd rather eat out when I go out for a meal. It's just more fun. And just purely given the fact that it's my job to cook all day, I don't really want to cook for myself at the end of the night. Oh, I forgot the name. There's this Chinese one, like Dai Tai. This might be like... There is a Chinese dumpling called Din Tai Fung that has to be my favorite. It pretty much has all the different elements of a dumpling. So it's got a little bit of soupiness inside, like a soup dumpling. And then it's got that soft and fluffy bao bun. And then the bottom section is fried. So it's got everything in one. Hey, I'm Nick. You can follow me at Nick DiGiovanni on YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram. And don't forget to subscribe to GH.